Hello friends, welcome to Ansys Artistry. Today I do not have a new pore painting video for you. Instead, I have an experimental video to show you. Today I want to experiment on the Artist Loft soft body acrylic paint from the year 2021 and see what we could do to it to be used as base for our regular touch pores. So let's take a step back. Here is one of my previous paintings. The vision for, for this was to create something rich and dark and I use the Artist Loft 2021 soft body white acrylic paint as base. So you see here the white has taken over. It is in every petal all over the painting. So it doesn't look rich and elegant to me. At spots where there is no white, you do see the colors blending perfectly, but overall the white is too much. So the white spots only appear when I'm using the Artist Loft soft body acrylic white as base and not with any other paints. So why is this happening? To show this to you again, I'm going to experiment with the same base paint the Artist Loft Soft Body Acrylic White and in comparison I'll show you what happens when I use the Blicrylic Titanium White. So both these paints have been thinned down using Floetrol and water and both of them have similar consistency so we don't have to worry about the consistency issue. The first style is the Artist Loft Soft Body Acrylic White and the second style um, it's the titanium white by Blicrylic. So for layering I'm just using one color the Thalo Blue by Artist Loft and I'm going to uh, drop the blue paint right in the center of these white paints and let's wait and see what happens here. Let's leave it like that for a few seconds. I can clearly see the blue is sinking into the white. You see a halo around it which is not seen in the second tile. Clearly the blue paint is sinking into the white on my first tile. Now let's spread the blue paint around and see what happens. So here we go with the Artist Loft white flow acrylic base paint. The blue is being eaten away by the white. We only see it on tile number one. On tile number two where we have the Blicrylic white, we don't have that issue. So there's something happening in tile one when I'm using the Artist Loft so soft body acrylic white as base. So why is this happening? What is it that is making so many white spots. So my theory here is the density of the white paint is less when compared to the density of the blue paint. So it is making the white paint float over the blue paint. So the experiment today is going to be to figure out what we can do to that white meaning the artist loft soft body acrylic white what is it we can do to that paint to increase the density so that it doesn't float over the other paints instead it could have similar or higher density than the other paints so it stays below the layered paints so that's the question we are going to answer in this video so here i have tile number three I'm going to use the base paint uh, from the thinned down Artist Loft soft body acrylic paint and mix it with the Artist Loft titanium white tube paint. Thin it down a little bit so the consistency is very similar. So 
I'm going to experiment similarly using the blue paint and let's see what happens here. So you see I see a halo effect around the blue telling me that the blue is sinking into the white. The density of blue is greater than the density of the white so the blue is sinking into the white. So we would probably see a lot more cells than what we need. Let's wait. There you have it. See how the white is starting to float over the blue. Not as much as in tile number one but we do see a little bit more cells than what we would really need for a Dutch pour. Then we have tile number four here. I'm going to mix the thin down soft body acrylic paint with Amsterdam titanium white tube paint. So let's see how this experiment goes. I'm going to call this tile number four. So every time I'm adding some new paint to the soft body acrylic, I'm making sure the consistency is similar to the first paint by adding Floetrol and water. So here we go. I don't see the halo effect in here telling me that the density are similar. So I'm hoping the white is not going to be floating all over the blue paint here. Let's wait and see. Here we go. The white paint is not floating over the blue paint, telling me the densities of both the paints are similar. Perfect for Dutch pour paintings. Moving on to tile number five. Here I'm mixing a titanium white by uh, Liquitex into the soft body acrylic uh, paint by Artist Loft, thinning it down to have similar consistency and repeating the experiment. Let's see what happens on this tile adding the blue paint and let's wait for a few seconds oh i see the halo around it the blue paint is sinking into the white so i'm going to be seeing cells like in um, tile number one or tile number three so the cells are going to be something similar uh, to that let's blow this out and wait for the results There we have it. See how the white paint is slowly raising to the top and the blue is sinking. Next we have tile number six. For this I'm going to be mixing the acrylic ink by Liquitex, same titanium white, into the thin down artist loft soft body acrylic. Here I'm not adding any additional float roll or water because it's already thinned down. So let's see what happens in this experiment adding the blue paint on top of the white let's wait and see i do see a slight halo around it not as bad but it's telling me that i will see white spots on this painting as well There we have it, uh, experiment number six with Liquitex acrylic ink mixed to the Artist Loft soft body acrylic white. So I'm going to rearrange all these tiles in order and you can uh, see the comparison. Here we have all six side by side. I'll show them to you uh, as close up and I will also say what was used as base and you can see how much white spots each of these create. All in all, what I'm trying to say here is the Artist Loft soft body acrylic paint 
from the year 2021 and newer has a density lower than the other paints that we regularly use and so you have to find a method to increase the density so it doesn't float all over the other paints so increasing the density can be made by adding a little bit of the other paints that you might have and you can check if the density is similar by just dropping one paint over the base paint and seeing if it creates a halo if it does create a halo that means that the layered paint is going to sink to the bottom so i hope this video has helped you and you have learned something from it and thank you for watching i hope to see you in my next video until then take care bye happy pouring mm -hmm.